easy going world. Welcome back to Nomadius. For the name I chose is Thaddeus. Thank you for tuning in to our Human Nature Podcast, where I am qualified to be your host as I am an exquisite human being. And today on the Our Human Nature Podcast, I got something special for you. I got something special for you, what I like to call today's treatment. You can see my hair. Eek. I know, I know you guys are used to seeing me, you know, like clean, fresh, you know, like, you know, because, because you know why? Because I keep myself clean, personal hygiene, because I pay about $50 to go get it. No, 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 not, 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 not here on Nomadius. I cut my own hair. A little bit about me. I'm a barber, if you didn't already know. You can always check out my other Instagram at today's treatment. Putting myself out there, because if you're not going to promote yourself, nobody else will. So in that case, you better promote yourself if you want other people to promote you. So, all right, I'm excited for this haircut. I've been in the house a couple days, got facial hair growing. I'm showing you guys before I even like combed it out or anything, just so you guys know what it looks like in its raw state. So we're gonna go do this episode talking about the need to express, our need to express, our need to be art. While I express, while I create, while I, Perform art, do art, create, create art. So let me get set up right now and stay tuned. Today, well, I guess usually, I, if you want to know what I use, I use the, uh, no promotions, but I use a, is the Babeless FX Pro, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, these are my trimmers. These are my clippers. These are called trimmers, clippers, okay? I know people, we usually call them clippers, as in both, but no. Clipper, trimmer, okay? Two different tasks. Essentially, can, I mean, if, you're the, if you're a pro, you can use this for everything, but they both have their uh, their uh, different purposes for different reasons. So, you know, kind of like, you know, being an artist, you got, you know, paint brushes, you got pencils, you know, being a videographer, you got a mic, you got a, you got an iPhone, your iPhone could be your mic, your iPhone could be your camera, but you got different things for different uses. So first step I always do, you gotta always do, you gotta always oil your blades. I could make this into a TikTok, but ah, it's okay. So you gotta oil your blades, right? A little, little bit feet away, I'm doing this higher so you guys can see. Okay, I'm a little bit getting ahead of myself, so let me put some stuff down. All right. Gotta get my whole package out. If you're into ASMR, this might be a little bit ASMR for you. I'm gonna try to throw some in there. A little Barber ASMR. Shout out to my brother, this gas. And I also got some other sprays that I'm gonna show you as we go along the video. But the reason that I oil the blade is so that it maintains the blade, it lubricates it, it disinfects it. It's also a coolant, like I said, it's a cleaner. It, it prevents rust. So you always wanna oil your blade before and after. Oh, yeah. So not only do you spray it, you grab out some little brush. This is what I like to do, you know, just like get through, you know, make sure the oil gets through or not. So I do this at the beginning and at the end. So that was my quiz. Was that my trimmer or my clipper? If you got the right answer, make sure to hit that like button. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And if you didn't, it's okay. Part two. Now I'm about to... Oil my, if you said clip, clipper, make sure to hit that like button. All right. 
All right, so my blades are oiled. So for this haircut, what I'm gonna do for this art sesh, right now my hair, I have curly hair going on top. Here, I'm gonna show you guys some light. Okay, okay, let's turn it down. All right, so you guys can see I got curly hair. I let myself up not too long ago. Um, I'm gonna try to show you from the back. I don't know how, how well this is going. Oh, I can do this, watch. Oh, I can see what you're seeing. Okay, you see what it looks like all around, you know. Also, I got my three-way mirror right here. It's how I always get my hair cut nowadays. I used to, back in the day, back in struggle days, those were some times. You would have a mirror in front of you, mirror behind you like this, get in the back. And for some reason, it used to be so clean, like so clean. I feel like, I don't know, it's a little bit different now. Like, yes, it's still clean, but I, I don't know. I feel like it used to do really clean. But then again, lighting, environment, how you feel that day, so many different factors that go into like why your hair that looks the way it does that day. So, and also your different, one big factor that we always forget is like how long the hair is each time you're cutting it. So for example, like I give myself technically the same haircut every time. So it's a, um, it's like a drop fade, uh, drop, I call it more of a mid fade, low mid fade, but you can call it more of a, a mid fade. Keep it curly on top, you know, line up all around. Uh, no enhancements. Let me say that one more time. No enhancements right into the mic just to make sure you guys heard that because Honestly, if you're using enhancements, my my personal opinion, it means that you weren't able to line it up that well. But then, but then again, some clients come in wanting enhancements. So to each its own. But personally, I don't use enhancements. I'm just a natural barber, natural all the way. And so, yeah, the last time I cut my, the the last time I cut my hair, my hair was not this long before I cut it. Now it's at least two weeks grown in so it's definitely gonna be a little bit different but let's go on for the journey that's what we're here for here on nomadian so stay tuned in for this full hair long journey here on today's treatment here on our human nature podcast here on nomadius all right so let's get this back set up okay I travel with my I'm going to try to cover it as much as possible so it's not in your face. Uh, I try and cover my, uh, bring my, I pretty much bring my whole barbering set everywhere I go. People are always like, do you really need that? Then I'm like, I'm, I'm not going to let someone else cut my hair when I could just do it for myself because I know my hair and I know it's going to look better. And at the end of the day, what you perform art, especially for yourself, like you have this, you have this sense of confidence, a sense, sense of advocacy of what you've done. Like, yeah, that was me. And when people, and in, in the sense of cutting hair, when I tell people like, oh yeah, I'm a barber, like I can get you right. And they're like, and they look at my hair and they're like, oh, you did that? I'm like, yup, that's me. So you're also promoting your own work. So, and you can just take this, this responsibility of something great that you're doing and it's a skill that you didn't get paid for or you can make connections with. Uh, I've met a lot of cool people through cutting hair. I've been able to just bless some people's lives through cutting hair without getting paid for it. So sometimes you got to choose, you know, what you use your different skills and talents for. Um, and I've been doing this for about it's my, coming to four years now. So I like to get my all that I use out. So, of course, you got the dust brush. All right, you also got the hairbrush that you use. I'm getting some scissor work at some point. My shears, you always gotta have a comb with you. Uh, you always gotta use a, some type of brush. I'm gonna clean your blades. I like to use, you know, ladies, you know what I'm talking about. Or even guys, you know, if you lay edges, you know what do you think. Uh, and then for this cut, right? If you know anything about cutting, you know, I'm gonna do a low, like a mid drop fade. So I'm definitely using my one and a half, right? Shout out to my boy, Ryan. We, uh, my uh, half guard, 
we started cutting hair. Well, I started cutting his hair and it inspired him to start cutting hair. So now uh, I know another person who cuts hair, uh, Gamma 2, okay? Oh, also shout out to my boy Noah from Ethiopia out in uh, Minnesota. Oh, I got two one and a half. Uh, let's make sure I have the right half. Okay, this one is a little broken. So I have to replace that one. Okay, we also always use another one. One is super essential, super, super essential. Okay, and then we got the, yeah, the, the half guard. All right, so. So let's get into it, right? And cut the gloves. Before you cut your hair, you gotta always prepare it. You gotta always get it ready for the cut. So first thing I'm gonna do, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna brush it down. Also, this is, I'm in a new place, just moved up from my job. And so this is my first time really cutting my hair in this bathroom. So it's gonna be interesting. The space is different, the lighting is different. Um, but my talent, I think this is not bad. First haircut of 2024, right? Wait, this might be the first haircut of 2024. Yeah, what's up, that's what's up. And y'all are here to see it. Okay. Some people are watching, some of y'all watching are saying, you don't need a haircut, your hair looks good. No. For me, I gotta practice. This, this is my number way of practicing. All right, so I'm gonna get into it. If I have my back turned to you, no disrespect. I no disrespect. <laughs> I still love you. Thank you for watching. I'm gonna keep talking to you. As I just go through this haircut, let's just chop it up, right? Barber, bar, barbershop talk. All right, so what I like to do is I like to start over my eye right here. So like that. Let's go like this. Perfect. All right. Then you go look. Drop it, right? Okay. Okay. And then you do the other side. Yeah. Look at that. I don't know if you can see. You can watch this. All right, now we clean it up. See how I'm pulling on my neck? Sometimes it helps to pull the skin down. Especially when using this uh, trimmer. So at this point in my life, I've cut hair in three different countries. I've cut hair in Costa Rica. Well, in that case, I've cut other people's hair in different countries. I've cut my own hair in like four, maybe more, um, different countries. Oh, yeah, Canada too. See out there, shout out to my Winnipeg, Edmonton, all my family in Canada watch it. Okay. Today, I'm gonna. You know, it's always a stretch too. I always remember that while I'm doing my haircut, but it would definitely help me if I stretch before. All right, let's get the other side. Also, my ambidextrous hair cutter. And I picked it up along the way. Not really great at lighting with two hands, but. If it comes to blessing your life, I can do it both hands, that's for sure. You want know, to make the adjustments. Essentially, you want this line to be really crisp. True. Also, like person from personal experience, I don't like to just like hit it down because that kind of leaves a dark mark later. And even if it's not the straightest right now, it's okay because 
Sometimes a blurry look, blurry fade is a look. You know? You kind of just figure it out as you go, which is what I love about creating. You know, it's a journey where you start somewhere thinking that you know where you're going. Or like at least sometimes you don't even know where you're going. You just have this feeling of like, all right, let me let me do this. Let me let me let me start taking photos. Let me start recording myself on camera. Let me start uh, let me start cooking. You know, cre creating comes in so many different ways. Let me just start writing. And sometimes as you start, it doesn't go the way you, you expected. But that's when you just kind of like improvise. All right, like right now, for example. Let me show you. Oh, I left my big mirror at home, I think. It's all good. But right now, I feel like I can see it in this mirror behind you. You see, it's not like straight across. So, and that's from my initial cut. So right now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna improvise. You wanna make sure that both sides are symmetrical. But if you're in the business of providing services to people or like creating for people uh, and you do it also for yourself. Personally, I give myself the same type of, every time I cut my hair, okay, see that? See, I don't love that. I give myself, maybe I'm gonna have to do this. I give my same, myself the same type of care, attention to detail that I would a client. Cause it's essentially like how, you know, with, with people, like in, you know, in our day-to-day, -day, you know, lives where you essentially have to treat yourself how you want people to treat you, right? That's just a part of human nature. And then on the other side, on the other end, you can't expect people to treat you better than you, you treat yourself. That's, you know, you live in a delusional world. Okay, so I think that's pretty, I think that's pretty straight for the moment. Uh, what do you guys think? I'm looking in the mirror. Uh, I think it goes a little low right there. Let's fix that. So, okay. So you can see I'm giving myself that same, like, yeah, I'm gonna do this myself. This to all my clients, you know, if you've ever gotten your hair cut by me, you know, I'm always wiping the neck, wiping the face. All right, so that's the first step, right? You see that curve, we got the curve on both sides. And, oh, one thing I just noticed, look. You see this side versus this side? This side is higher than this, so let's fix it. All right, so. Yeah, it goes like, you kind of just eyeball these things. There you go. There you go. Look at that. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. Getting that uh, basic fade at the bottom. All right, so starting with your, uh, trim, your clipper on open. Okay, close, open, half. So starting open, and go up. It's not like just like this, you kind of, you know, flick. So it's like a, let's see, let's see, it's like a, see I'm coming back, I'm not just going like this. And you're gonna see me in action here. So, a little back history. You guys might have seen my uh, YouTube interview Juneteenth. I'll link it below where, and also I like to go about, I like to go a little higher with this one, like an inch. And you're just gonna follow that guideline all the way along. Also, I could just start with debulking which means like just get the big hair out. But my hair is, if you ask me, like not that long to be doing that yet. And I feel like, I 
kind of just messes me up. Oh, that's why my light. Aha, I could go brighter, that's why. So I like to brush and cut, I'm sorry, cut and brush. Okay. But yeah, if you saw that video at Dream Team where I interviewed Roger Hunter, uh, I talked about how it was pandemic. Maybe I talked about, I didn't know about this part, but it was pandemic, I was in college, and I was starting, I just cut my hair off, it was my birthday, and then, you know, all of a sudden we gotta go home, and I'm like, all right, well, all right, let's just, you know, let's wait and thing. And so I started dipping, it was going great, but then, you know, no barbers. So I'm like, shoot, what am I gonna do? So I started getting a 13 month wolf going. <coughs> if you know anything about me, I think that's the longest I've, I've ever gone with a haircut. Like no blade touching my hair, my head. Um, and still then, still to this day, I can never go that long. So, uh, I'm gonna go a little higher for this. I'm gonna come back with that actually. I'm going to flick action. And uh, so you have 13 months, and so finally the barber shop's open, right? Barber shop's open, and I scheduled this haircut with this guy. Uh, if you're from LA, uh, it's this one place on Wilshire. And Man charged me what, 45 for the haircut. Yeah, I was desperate. And this is 2020. So before that, I started paying. When I started getting haircuts, I remember, or at least I started paying for them. I started, I was paying like 20, then with like 25. So that was probably like around 16 when I got my first job. And. Then that barber, yeah, I always kind of get me a 25, just tip that barber. And, oh, that's nice. And then when I found this other really nice barber in like USC area, he was charging like 30. But his work was worth it. I was like, bet, I like this guy. So I would go to him, it'd be a mish to get to him. And then I'd try to tip him like five, so it'd be like, 35 every time. And I remember from my prom when I went to him, it started to go up. It was like 35 for the guy, so I paid like 40, 45. And I was like, man, I don't know why I can keep up with this. Because if you know anything about me, I like to look fresh. So I just saw me at the beginning of this video, it was kind of unseen for myself or unusual. Uh, so I get a haircut at least every two weeks, which I get a lineup at least every week. So. It would come out to, if you do the math real quick, plus calculator, 45 every two weeks of 90. So that's 180 a month, just for just for full cuts. And if I do a, that's 40 for a full month's worth of lineups. So that's 220 uh, for a month worth of hair cutting. Uh, 220 times 12 is 220 times 10 is 2,200. Uh, 220 times, I don't know if I'm doing this right. Oh yeah, let's do, yeah, that's 440. What did I say? Uh, 2,220? Wait, it was, it was 220, do that real quick. I said 220 times 12, right? So, uh, that would be 2,000, 2,200 plus 440. So that's two thousand six hundred forty thousand uh, dollars. I'll be spending on haircuts. I think my math is right. Check me on that. Could be off. Um, every year. And then, right? So now I'll come to college where I get to leave all that. And luckily, my roommate at the time was cutting hair and charged me fifteen. He's like, damn, it's a blessing. Oh, man, you might as well hook me up every day. Shoot. 
And he was good. He was really solid. So, uh, I started getting my, my hair cut by him, but then when the pandemic happened, I couldn't go to him no longer. So, now, right, I'm here on Wilshire getting my hair cut for 45. <laughs> so, you see that jump, right? So, now, I'm paying 45. I took the dude like $10, so I paid 55 for the haircut. And my man used enhancements without asking me. And you, you already heard my, my little, my opinion about enhancements at the beginning of the video. I do not mess with enhancements. So if you want to get a haircut by me and you ask for enhancements, it ain't, it's not gonna happen. I'm gonna just get you right. Here on today's treatment. You know what I'm saying? So, the man who's enhancements, two days later, my haircut was looking different. My hairline was crazy, because he, I don't know if you asked me, he didn't have the talent to get me right, or maybe my hairline wasn't greatest, but either way, let me know or try to do your best. To me, it's like a, it's like a lazy way for barbers to be like, duh, 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 like line, let me line you up, shh, cover enhancement. Cool, quick lineup, like, yeah, you, oh, you look crisp. Oh, this and this, this and that. And I'm going to charge you an arm and leg. But really, I'm not that great at haircutting, which is why I couldn't do it without the enhancements. That's my opinion. So I can, I can do a whole podcast about enhancements. <laughs> I know some people who can join me on that. Uh, but I'm always open to, you know, if you, if, if, you, uh, if you do use enhancements, if you do like enhancements, comment below why. I want to know why. I'm interested. I'm not closed-minded about it. I'm, I'm, I'm open-minded to learning why. Uh, so after that, after that haircut, I was like, dude, I'm gonna start doing this on my own. I used to always line myself up in maybe started in middle school. I want to say high school. I mean, it wasn't the greatest lineups to be honest, but I always had the passion to just like get myself right. All right. So we're now now with the half. You see, it already went up by an inch. By an inch on both. Let's see. Hold on. Wait, uh, this side, yeah, we're well, about uh, inch on both sides. So I removed that half. So now from that one that I did, let's cover that. From that one that I did, I'm gonna go about halfway flicking with the half, okay? So this is how you blend this. You essentially wanna blend this whole thing, okay? And these are, these are cordless, so it's been a major change. I've gone, this is my second pair of clippers. Clippers and trimmers. So when I, <laughs> yeah, so I started putting my own hair, you know, I had a lot of, it was a long journey to say the least. Uh, I wasn't looking the freshest at the beginning, I'll be honest with you, but I used to start out with like tapers and tapers were like, I had all the waves at first and taper, tapers for, mm, I don't know, my personal opinion, my personal opinion, on my own hair, on my own hair, because it depends. I'd rather do a taper on someone on some people's hair than a fade, but on my own head, I'd rather do it. Like, since I'm cutting my own head, it's not about my hair texture, I would rather uh, do a fade. It's easier to see. Uh, taper is much harder, but I started with tapers, and, you know, it was cool. So getting the job done. It was also a pandemic, so not like I was seeing a lot of people. So uh, I was happy with it. Okay. And then you know, just kept going, getting better, getting better. And I think it was in 2021 that I first had my first client. Uh, well, I want to say it was my. I mean, it was definitely my friend, but don't remember exactly who. You want if it was you, and I don't remember. Um, Sorry, brother, but it could have been you. It could have been some other, someone else. Uh, either way, you want to. I want to say loyal customer, but I can't be mad at him for going on the barbers because I'm not around. And it's all good. We all gotta get ourselves looking fresh. Whatever you can, he pulls up. He's always supported. So yeah, I started cutting friends' hair. I started cutting my dad's hair. I started cutting. Uh, well, I don't cut my brother's hair just because they have long hair. And then it just kept going, and then I came to school, went back to school, and I cut someone's hair on campus, and you know, word got around, and started cutting a couple, a couple people's hair, 
And then things came full circle where now I started cutting hair in the same bath, uh, dorm bathroom that I was paying to get my hair cut. So it went from me paying someone to cut my hair for $15 in the bathroom to me charging someone $30 to cut their hair and they're paying me. See how when you start on that journey, you don't know where it's gonna take you. And like, I didn't even plan to start cutting people's hair. I, just, I was just good at it. And then it started to bring, you know, the fruits, the fruits of my labor. And I was very grateful, you know, I started making content with this. So if you, you know, if you're on my, uh, on the Instagram, where you can also check it out on TikTok. Most of them are on TikTok, actually. Just like videos where I ask men how they feel before and after their haircut. Because for a man, I know, a haircut can be a, a game changer. You know, you're having a rough week and you just need to get yourself, you know, you just need to get your mind right for the next week, whether it's you got a date, whether it's you got, you know, school, whether it's you got work, whatever it may be, you just gotta get yourself in that, in that right mind state. Sometimes a haircut will literally elevate your whole aura. <laughs> It'll take you from feeling like feeling like you haven't showered in a full week to feeling like you have a suit and tie without a suit and tie on, you know, or whatever, you know, is that suit and tie equivalent for you. All right, so now I'm gonna close it. I'm closing, open, half, close. And now uh, you can see, I'm gonna get that, that line out at the bottom, okay? I'm gonna get that line out. So you don't wanna go too high with this part, but you just wanna kind of flick at that. And so I just started to like upgrade my equipment slowly. Once it, once it was like technically coming from, like I wasn't really paying it out of my pocket and I was making money, like enough money to pay for the equipment. Because essentially what's what you want to do with your hustles. I mean, at first, you, you know, you're going to have to put some, put some of your own bread in, but the whole point is to, um, is to get to a point where your hustle pays you enough that you can afford upgrade your hustle all money in no money out as the late Nipsey Hustle once said so also one thing about haircutting is that it's not supposed to look perfect the first time around which means that you kind of just get through because like, any, any, anything you're doing with art like for example you make videos, right? Something I do, I'll give you an example of what I do. I edit videos, and when I shoot, like yeah, I have this like idea of what it's gonna look like, but that's why you go back and you rewatch it and you edit it, right? And then you edit it, and then you don't just like, like yeah, you felt like you edited it and it's done. No, you gotta rewatch that, and you gotta rewatch it a couple more times because what you see with the first eye, it's not what you see with the last eye. You gotta give yourself a break, your eyes a break to see like, to see the, the, the small detail that you might not have seen the first time around. So, uh, especially when fading, cutting hair, you always wanna, you always wanna give yourself that, that ability to take a break from it, let your eyes rest, and then your eyes can pick up on like, oh, okay, I missed that part. Okay, let me come back. I didn't see that, I didn't see that at first. The most rewarding thing so far for me about cutting hair, uh, along with like the confidence it gives me every day to, to also like to change someone's overall well-being is so that's blended first uh, round we're gonna come back to that right now I'm gonna go with the one 
All right. One open. Close, open. All right, I'm gonna do a little. Actually, I'm gonna debulk it first. Cause that's gonna make it look way easier. It's gonna make it way easier later. So one and a half open, so I'm gonna debulk. All right, you can go high at this one. All right, right, deep bolt. Okay, one thing I love about hair cutting is how crazy you can look in the process of it. How crazy you look at the beginning, how crazy you look during the process, how crazy, and then how amazing, how crazy good you look at the end. So, all right, deep bolt, right? It's kind of like, uh, the, the, the best way to, to describe what deep bulking is, is like taking down a landscape so that like, imagine you have like, grass that was like imagine you wanted to like do a design in the grass but it was too high the grass was uh was uh was too long right it was too high so technically you would like take it down that way you could see where the dirt was that way you could get a finer you know cleanup or in this case you know cut to your next step so i debulked i'm gonna take my one all right, let's clean this off. Also, you see all the hair on me, so let's get that off. Okay. All right, so let's take that one. One open again. I'm gonna come back with the one and a half. Uh, so like, huh, what is the scene? This is the thing I'm improvising right now, right? Yeah, I'm gonna come back with it. So right now, I'll take that one, I'm gonna go about an inch, maybe less than an inch. Get that comb in hand, right? You wanna comb it down. Okay. Okay, looking good on that side. I right, go this side. One thing that's difficult, I mean, the main thing that's difficult about right here, but just know that anybody who cuts your hair, really give them a props because you don't, you might not know that your hair actually grows from different points at different angles. So the hair can be like right next to each other. But one can be growing forward, one can be growing backward. And when I say backward, I don't mean like ingrown, I mean just like forward and backward, or like this way and, and, and this way, or like here and then here. So that can be very difficult. For a barber to work with. You know what? I got an idea this hair cut. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know what? This is about to look fire. Watch this. This haircut's gonna be a little different than what I'm used to, in the sense of same sort of style. We're just changing it the length, okay? So, right here on my, on my left side, the length, the way my hair goes, it might not just the way it grows, it's also the texture of it is a little bit different. It's kind of like longer and silkier. I want to say it grows, it grows this way versus this grows down. Uh, so when I cut it, it can be really difficult because the blade doesn't pick it up the same. And, and even on the same side, like right here where I'm at right now, this will grow down. Whereas over here, it kind of grows forward. All right, so I got an idea. All right, so let's try this. I always want to go for more like a, like not an extreme, uh, like bald fade. So let's try and do, let's try and go with, let's try and go with this one. It's half guard open. 
Let's see what happens. The best part about an air kit, which you don't want to rush to, is to getting to your uh, lineup because the fade might not look like the best, but when you line it up, it's like putting uh, borders to a painting. It, it kind of just gives it, it, it defines it more, brings that definition out. And so, and you know, and then for some reason it, it can hide what might look like a mistake and look like it was intentional, like that blurry fade that I was talking about. So that's why I'm not too, too concerned right now with how the fade is going, even though it's going well. I kind of just want to see how it comes out. For all my barbers watching, I'm definitely gonna come back with my one, with my half card, uh, halfway. And you know, sometimes the most frustrating part about cutting here is when you mess up. So it can also be the most fun part because you also gotta figure out, okay, how am I gonna, how am I gonna come back from this? Wow. Okay. See. Wow. This is what I'm talking about. This is great. That, wow, this is great. I'm loving this. Got half open. It's going amazing right now. The half, sorry, the half, the half guard fully open, which is almost like essential to like a one guard close. One guard closes the one above it. That's me there's a slight difference in what and how much the hair actually picks up because of the guard length. Also, you gotta look out for dark spots. See, like right now I'm trying to get this dark spot. And if you're wondering, no, I've never uh, taken any classes, never really had a teacher, self taught barber. You know, we'd love to see it. Uh, yeah, let me go to half. Alright, so let's do this. You guys are getting a special haircut video. I mean, this was my first time recording myself cutting hair, but like to do something different, I'm feeling how I'm feeling. Myself today. I can see, I can't see that well right now in the back, but I'm gonna always come back to the back. That's what I always do. I'm gonna be honest with you, this is coming out really nice. Okay. Okay. Alright. Now, let's come. No, wait, before we go, before we go. So, you always wanna work your way up and come in here. So, I'll start from the bottom, cut it short. Also, I'm, you know, I'm doing my best talk about the topics at the same time. Cutting hair takes uh, a level of focus. So I hope you're enjoying just the, you know, the ability to watch the process, to watch the journey. You know, that's all we're all about here on the Matias. Uh, you know, I'm, also just showing you a little bit of my life. So if you're enjoying this, please like the video right now. Make sure to comment below how you're feeling, what you think about the haircut so far, or also you can wait till it's done. And ooh, if you're excited for this haircut, like the video. If you're about to get your haircut, like the video. If you never got your haircut, like the video. If you love your hair, like the video. If you're still trying to figure out how to love your hair, like the video. All right. All right, all right, all right. Usually I'm listening to tunes, so listen to the sound of my voice is also working for me today. Let's come back to that one and a half, all right? Look, it's looking a little bulky up there for me, right? So, 
I'm gonna go in with that. I'm gonna go in with it again. Just slightly, because I'm gonna come back with that too. My hair is getting longer. So you can't keep using the same. I mean, like, unless you're like trimming down the length of your hair, you're gonna change what guards you use, like regardless. Sit in there. You're gonna change what guard you use regardless. That was a good joke. Please. You got barber jokes? Like corny jokes? Please, I really want to hear that in the comments. I'd love me some good corny jokes like that. A oh, wordplay. Alright, so let's go with that one. Let's go with that too, okay? Let's come in with that too. Let's come in with that too. Hair looking bulky. Especially right here. I need to take that down. Love me some of this deep walking. I'm almost at everybody's favorite part. I'm at the. I'm almost at the part you all been anticipating for me to get to the lineup. I'm almost there. All right, let's just let's take it easy. I want to get there too. Okay, let's take it easy. You know, you can't just always rush to the final product. You know, there's a there's a level of care and. Uh, see, this is where my hair texture is going for. You know, if you just if you just want to rush to the end of your journey, then what was the whole point of going on? You know, it's like you got with that dopamine build in your body. So now I'm gonna go. I just change it to a one uh, and a half, halfway open. Just kind of hitting at it. Just like small effects. Things honestly, I'll notice, but that will uh, that will probably benefit me a week from now. Meaning that some things you do for the haircut that uh, when it grows, it'll grow in really nicely. That it may you may not notice the effect. So that's the thing about the way I take care of hair is like. I'm thinking about you next time you come to me or next time, or you may not come to me. I don't want you to just look good today and tomorrow. And after you wash it, like, you know, depending on your hair growth, you should look good for a couple weeks, you know? You know? So, yeah, let's just go with that closed. I don't know what you're seeing from the back, but I can see, I can tell my back can use some work. All right, bear, bear with me. Don't come from my neck just yet, because I'm about to come from the back of my own neck. So, if you guys, haven't seen or heard yet, and you want more podcast content, you can always check out my Spotify. You can find me uh, at Our Human Nature on Spotify, Apple Music. I've got podcasts that open there where you can just, you know, close your phone and listen. I know some everybody has YouTube Premium, so it might be difficult, but you can just Turn off your phone and just listen to the sound of my voice if you like my voice. And here I'm gonna switch this like this. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Look at okay. Uh, yeah. You can you can listen to a lot of motivational content on there. I uh, I talk about what comes up to me. You know, I feel like the, what you need to hear at the moment. Wow. This is wow. All right, I'm. Gonna take in this beauty I just 
dip back here. I don't even know. Came out like this, to be honest with you. Let's close it up a little bit, yeah, let's close it up. So I took this half card and I just closed it. Wow, I am quite delighted with this cut. Quite, quite delighted. Let's check the other side. Wow. Would you looky here at the work I done did? All in the dark. That's called talent. Wow. Alright guys. It's the moment you've been waiting for. Let's get to it. Let's come back and do some work. Let's do it. Let's do it. The moment we all been waiting for. Alright, so I got my own technique that I do with this. Some barbers do this, some people don't. Personally, for curly hair, this is extremely helpful. Okay. All right, so I use this holding spray. I don't need to promote a brand. And I like to do, I like to cover my face. I'll show you guys how I do it. So I like to cover my face. And hold on, this always don't squirt at me first. Instead of spray. Okay. Got that in. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna brush it down. See that? That's called growth right there from my last cut. Okay. Alright. Maybe I'll do one of these haircuts live. If you want to see a haircut live, let me know. Might be my first live. Alright, so Right, here is, it's got the spray all on it. And you don't want to brush it down. I'm trying to get it to what you want it, like to the place that you would want it to be at, essentially. So when you line it up, it's all good. So in the meantime, I like to do, I can do this one just for y'all. In here, just get the facial hair. I like to get a, you also gotta know, know how the way skin grows and you also have a pull. So like some people go like this. Sometimes I do it, sometimes I don't. I know some people are like, don't cut the mustache. I'm cutting the mustache. I'm cutting the mustache. I'm cutting. The mustache. Okay, random quick question. It, if, yeah, I'm, I switched it up. It's kind of hard. Uh, if you could... Okay, if you had the ability to have your hair cut, including your facial hair, really nicely the way you love it, and it never grew. You just look like that every day. Essentially, like, it didn't, I mean, like, it changed, meaning you take a shower and stuff and you have to do it again. So, like, a little upkeep here and there. But, like, you essentially didn't have to go get a haircut anymore. It just is, like, perfect. Which is one reason why I kind of stopped having a mustache because there was just, I had to line it up so often. And I just like the clean look of just to like take it all off. So would you do it? Would you take the opportunity to, to, to have a perfect haircut every day? Let me know in the comments. Personally, 
I like having my hair grow. I think it looks good at different lengths. And I like seeing the growth, you know? Especially... Oh, because that means you'd also have to sacrifice the ability to grow your hair out. Hmm. Hmm. Right, these questions. Okay, let's check out the, if it's dried or not. Not fully, so I like to do, I like to do. That you may have been waiting for, but you didn't even know you were waiting for. The line. Uh, everybody's favorite part, I, I would assume. I'm gonna do a little bit in this, but I really want this to be, I really want this to be clean, so I need a proper mirror for this. I'm gonna do a little bit for y'all. Okay. I'm gonna do a little bit. Ah oh, heck no. Nah. To be honest, that's all, that's all y'all get. Because I cannot see a dang thing. Oh, that's pretty good. So my hair grows pretty fast, or at least pretty healthy at least. So sometimes it looks like I'm pushing it back. But really I'm not, but essentially what I'm doing is what I'm doing is I'm putting it back to where it was last time I cut it. Because it grew so much. If you ask me, I keep it natural, so ain't no pushbacks around around these parts now. Yeah. Is that where there's no need for enhancement? No need for enhancement. Okay. Looking okay right now. Let me show you guys a special trick. Okay, you see how I have a mirror like that? Because I have like this view that I can't even tell you is just like immaculate right now. I think I'm gonna do this live one day. That would be so cool, isn't that? That way we can interact. So on one side, I like to get the the C the C cup started, but I don't want to finish it because that way I make sure they're on the they're they're at a level on both sides. Okay, so we just get it started. It's feeling a little like this whole thing is long, so I might go higher up on this. I try to get it the same level on the side. Okay. Alright, let's go here. Make sure I brush your blade. See, now that I put the spray in, my hair is really holding in that same spot that I, I want it to be. Every time I cut it, it holds in the same spot. And so, so the, what really makes the my hairline pop is the corners. So you really gotta make sure your corners are on point. One thing when I mean my corners, I make sure they're on point. There you go. There you go. Uh, uh, there you go. That's what I'm talking about. Bada bang, bada boom, bada bang. That's looking clean. Okay. 
So now I put my finger there. Yes, I can do it for you guys here. My finger here, my finger there. Boom. Are those level? No. See that? Okay, so now this has got to go higher. Y'all, y'all, y'all. Would you look at that right here? That's the constrictor. Okay, okay, okay. Almost there, almost there. Right now, I like to get some scissor work in. Okay. I chop some of the front hairs off that like hang over. Especially in the corners. Dope. Okay, other side. Okay. Now let's get some corner work on these sides. Like, I need some. Personally, I'm trying to. I feel like my sides come out too much. I don't love. Also the back could use some scissoring. You're like, how is he cutting his hair backwards? I don't know, I just know how to. It's just that some things just pick up along the way. Oh, this side looking good. Let's do some more. And then this side, let's go like this. Okay. Ooh, the back of my head feels so good. Miss that feeling. Let's put the light. Over here, let's get some light back here, that way I can see better. And smart for you. Ooh wee! I ain't gonna lie, I'm gonna be honest with you, this is looking really nice. Switch sides. I have to say big shout out to my mom <laughs> for the hair texture that I have. Mama, I love you. Thank you for having your beautiful hair because I definitely got that gene from you. No offense to you, dad, but I'm just saying, I mean, a fact is a fact of the matter. And I definitely don't now have my dad's hair texture. Okay, y'all. Oh, we're almost done. Almost, 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 almost. We're getting to the end of it. So, if you're excited for this final product, if you're excited for the final show around, almost there. Right now, what I'm gonna do, dust this off. Always get hair in the mouth. Dust it off. 
I'm just gonna do a little more detailing and then we're done. So like I can see back here. Oh, this one I was using this light. Back here I could use like a one open. Just doing some cleanup around the edges. Especially that, that line that I want to get out, you know, that I mentioned to you guys earlier. Last step. Close it. And let's clean it up. You don't want to be careless with this part because you don't want to mess up your previous work. So yeah, this is just a little bit into my life. Like, something I'd love to do is cut hair, as you can see. Not just because I'm good at it, I'm capable of it, but because expression is the highest form of nutrition. And as human beings, we need to express. We need a way to release. Expression is like releasing. Like you get these visions sometimes, something to create. Uh, you get these, we, we, okay, we all feel. The basic thing is as, as humans, part of nature, we feel. And so part of feeling is we need to release. You know, rain, rain is a way of looking at releasing. We need a waterfall, we need something that lets us, that inner motion, energy and motion, get out. So, express yourself in whatever you feel is best for you, whatever your intuition is calling. Take that journey, okay? Take it all the way, because it might, it might not be the first thing that you're doing that you love, but it might be the second. It might be the third. It might be the fifteenth. It's all possible, especially in this world. So that's how I cut my hair. Let's get a little brush down. That way I can show you guys what this looks like when I'm done. My hair is not wet at all, so you don't really get to see what it looks like. Uh, fully when I'm out the shower, but I think I'll post it as a thumbnail. All right, moment of truth, moment of truth. You know, every time you put a mirror in front of your client, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the, I'm gonna do the, I'm gonna do the, the typical client reaction to be like, to be like, yeah, that's cool. But really, as a barber, this is what you want to see. This is what you want to see. Yeah. You ready? Oh, okay, here. Here's the mirror. Whew. Whew. I'm going to be real with you. You got me right this time. I mean, you always get me right, but you got me right this time. Like, whoa. Like, line up. Like, look at that. Like, whoa. Like, B. B, you got me right, bro. You got me, bro. You got me. You know what I'm saying? One last step, last step, last step. Okay, this is how you know if your barber really cares about you. Because I care about myself, but I'm always thinking myself. First, if you ask, you want your eyebrows done, that means he cares about you. Some men do, some men don't, okay? This is pretty easy. This is a eyebrow trimmer. I use it to, instead of a single, uh, single, what do you call it? Single blade razor. I use it to get my line up right. Basically, it gets those small baby hairs that your clipper sometimes can't get. Gets that really close cut. Yes. Also, so it makes your lineup stay probably twice as long if you ask me. I was so excited to show you guys, I forgot to do this part. So to all of you that, that have had a bad barber experience, shout out to you. I feel for you, but I also encourage you to let that experience motivate you to start cutting your own hair. 
I can name two people in my life that I know of that started cutting their own hair because I showed them that it was possible. So shout out to my boy Ryan, shout out to my boy Nola, um, Minnesota and um, LA, who started to even cut hair for other people. But mostly, you know, they take care of themselves. And that's the whole thing. All from experiences where, you know, barbers just didn't get you right. And it's such a vulnerable thing, because it's like, bro, I'm letting you control how I'm gonna look like for the next couple of weeks. And you got me looking like this. You got me looking like this, B. <laughs> so, yeah, not a line of this, definitely my point. I did my brush down. Let me show you once more. How we want them, how we want our client to be like, Damn, and you just got me more? And you just got me more, B? Thank you. Whew. Whew. If you remember how I looked at the beginning, I was looking real rough. Well, that's that. Thank you so much for tuning in to this episode. If you want to see more, make sure to watch the videos right here, right here. Possibly on this side. I'm not so sure. I'm still learning this thing. I'm still figuring it out. I'm back this year on YouTube. I, I, I was always here. Got myself looking right. I hope you enjoyed this. If you want to see more, make sure to come and see more. And if you want to get your hair cut, hit me up. That's all I got right now. Much love and respect to you. Amadeus is going to see you soon.